Hi guys, TNVT here with another video. So today we are going to be doing a demo on the Shirley Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I already did my brows, my eyes, lashes are on. So why don't we just get right into this video? So this is my first foundation with Shirley Tilbury. So I'm hoping that I do love this foundation, you know, love at first sight, maybe, maybe not. You know what? Let's just see while we continue with this whole demoing of her foundation. So let me get into what she says here. She says, darlings, my new beautiful skin foundation gives everyone skin that looks beautifully hydrated, plumper, smoother, and brighter and buildable coverage with long-term skin care benefits. So she is now reminding me of the NARS and guys, I did do a NARS reflecting foundation demo. Go ahead and check that video out. But it seems like it's going down the same line as the NARS, but we're not focusing on NARS because NARS has its own video. We're focusing on Charlotte Tilbury foundation she went on to say beautiful radiant by 285 percent and blah 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 you can go ahead and read all the other claims and stuff that goes along with it all i know this comes in 30 shades and she did give like some of of a shade um ranges from deep tan medium and fair so you can just choose which area you falls in. Um, it also comes with no, neutral, cool, warm, and golden. Now, I picked up the shade number 10, neutral. Now, I can be neutral, I can be golden, I can be warm, and I can be cool. Don't ask me how is that possible. I don't know, but it does work. All depends on the foundation that I'm wearing or the, the brand. All depends on the brand. I don't know. But this is my first foundation with her. So I don't know what category I fall in. And this is my own coins. And I wasn't planning on taking up three, four shades just to figure out which is it and to swatch because this ain't got all that type of money right now plus i wanted to pick this up i think this is the cutest thing ever i really do feel like this is the cutest thing ever i picked up um 310 door and it is so beautiful and i also i mean a lot of people is raving about this this earth setting spray i had gotten two and i gave one to my cousin kamisha hi cammy and she loves it even though it seemed like i use it i haven't used it so we are going to see how this works unfortunately i didn't get her primer or any other any other of her um products because again this lady is very pricey and so i have to be smart in my spending okay so i am going to go in oh let me put away my hair because it's in the way uh, ooh, let's just put this even more back. Go. Here is snatched back. So I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Hydro Grip Primer. Okay, so now that the primer is on, I am so I I must say. I must say, I do love her packaging. It is the box, which is this packaging. It is a very, a very luxurious with this rose gold glittery thing going on. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I am in, again, 10 neutral. I saw the shade range. I went to Sephora to get this and I did saw the different shade ranges and it was hard for me to choose and get my shade. The closest I could have come up with is this. Um, so I'm just hoping it works. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and put this on the back of my hand. I'm glad it's a pump. Ooh, 
Let me shake this up. So this is what it looks like. Let me just, this is the shade. Oh. So let me go ahead. I'm going to use a brush to apply my foundation, but I'm just going to use this to just, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is not my shade. This is not my shade. Oh, come on here. This is not my shade. Oh, shook. Oh, man. I don't think the primer is working well with this foundation. <gasps> but you could tell I am all grayed out right now. So 10 is not my shade. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury gone, gone wrong. OMG guys, how am I gonna fix this? How am I gonna fix this? Charlotte Tilbury gone wrong. How am I gonna fix this? <laughs> I'm not going to apply any more foundation, but listen, it doesn't matter the shade range. He said it's medium to build up a coverage, and I still got spots here. All right, you, you want me to add more there? Okay, let's just do that. I don't, I don't like to spray. Is it finished? And it does dry down to a slight darker shade. It does. Not too much. I wish it could have dried out to my shade. But yeah, it's not too much. It's really just slightly. Come on. Here, everywhere. All right. Let's just add more coverage to this. Let's pretend this is my shade, okay? We are going to pretend right now. Medium to build up a coverage. That's what we're looking for right now. It kind of fade it kind of fade out my um imperfection. But it kind of fade it kind of faded out. But can I tell you guys what's what my my forehead just it was went wrong up here real bad real fast. It's literally moving up here. You could can you see the separation? It's moving. Um <sighs> Problem number one is that I don't feel her product works well with different products from not I don't think her product works well with different brands the milk hydrated found um, primer is just not it's not working with it it's not it doesn't like it uh, alright so what can I say about this foundation I I do like how it looks on the skin. It gives this kind of dewy, but not too dewy, and this glow from within. So it goes to show that this foundation is really beautiful. Again, I just, it's just not my shade, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. I am definitely going to get my shade, and um, yeah. I am going to get
get my shade. But I should have tested out, you know, I was at work, I was in a rush, and I just look at all the shades, and I'm like, yep, number 10 is me, because the bottle looked like it would work for me. But... So it's too light, so I may have to go to uh, 11, 12, unless she don't have my shade. Well, that would be a bummer. All right, so let's see how we can fix this problem. I'm going to go in with her bronzer, which is, I think this is a little bit uh, dark. Maybe this will help, this will bring help to the situation. Uh, this is so exquisite, like, look at this. I think Marc Jacob was the first I think he is the first one that came out with a bronzer case that's this big. Um, yeah, I remember. Yeah, he did. All right, so let's get a fluffy brush and apply this. And this has like a, a reddish undertone, which is definitely not me, but <laughs> then it was really gone wrong. But we need to tone this down. So. We are going to start from here. Oh, dear. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get this situation fixed and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what I could come up with. Like, this is. This is just what I could do to resolve the problem. As you guys saw earlier, the shade was, the shade is totally off. Um, but thank God for Danessa Marek's product because her products is what somewhat bring this face together. Um, Cause I really do like the finish. It's very skin like, I mean, it's not my color shade but I can tell how this formula gonna how this formula works it's really skin like and I love that and it's kind of hydrated as, as she mentioned but not overly hydrated and I love that so I'm I'm really gonna get my shade <laughs> so they better have it I'm just saying all right guys so hopefully you guys I'm so sorry that this video wasn't what you know we all expect it to be but things do happen in the beauty beauty world sometimes it's good to show you guys the mishap because I could have just not even video this and just go to Sephora get my shade and come sit in this camera and show you guys oh this is my perfect shade you know I'm not gonna do that I went I bought my shade thought it was my shade and unfortunately it's not so with that being said, this is the look we got. And um, there ain't nothing, there's nothing that a bronzer can't do, honey. You know, you just bronze this face up and work with your shit, work to get something to your skin tone. But I still like how the look came out. Like I really still love how my skin look. Like my skin looks so relaxed with this foundation. Like my skin is saying, Tanya, go get your shade because I love this foundation on me. It's Listen, lightweight is not even the word. You literally don't feel this thing on your face, okay? So, I, lightweight is just not the word for this foundation. But I have to say, I do like it. I will get my shade. Will I recommend it? Of course I will. So yes, guys, this is the finished look. Hope you guys do like it. I like it. I like the foundation. I do recommend the foundation. Again, I will be going back to Sephora to get my shade. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have my perfect shade. But I know they'll have something close to my skin tone. And I'm looking forward for wearing this foundation. Because lightweight is not the word, honey. This thing really... I feel like, oh, let's go to bed. Like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Anyway, thank you, Charlotte Tilbury, for your two years hard work. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. If you guys can get your shade, go ahead and get it. And 
like I always leave it to you guys. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. If once I get my shade, I will definitely put it in the description box below. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.